Hi there. Now here we've got a question on solving a trigonometric equation. If you'd like to try this and haven't had a chance to read through the question, I'll give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, then you can check your work solution against mine as I take you slowly through the solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So we've got to solve the equation then 2 tan of x minus 3 sine of x equals 0, where x is measured in radians and it's greater than or equal to minus pi but less than pi. So in order to do this, we need to think about trying to get it into the same trigonometric function or try and see if we can factorise it. Well, I don't think I can get it into the same tri trigonometric function, but I can certainly factorise this further down. Because you should be familiar with the identity that tan x is the same as sine x divided by cosine x. So in other words, in place of tan x, we write this as sine x over cosine x. And then we've got this term here, minus 3 sine x is equal to 0. Now, if I multiply through by cosine x, then what I've got is 2 sine x for the first term, then we get minus 3 sine x cosine x, and then it's going to be equal to 0. Now, although I haven't been able to get this all into one trigonometric function, like all of sines or all of cosines, at least I can factorise this at this point. I can see that I've got sine x, which is a common factor. And if I pull that out as a common factor, we've got sine x multiplied with the 2 minus 3 cosine x. And this now allows me to set up two separate equations, because I know that each of these factors would be equal to zero. So I've got an equation with one trigonometric function. So therefore, we've got sine x for the first factor here. That could be equal to naught. Or this second factor could be equal to zero. That is 2 minus 3 cosine x. OK equals 0. So if I rearrange this one for cosine x, then I therefore have cosine of x equals 2 thirds, 2 divided by 3. So we'll look at each equation in turn. So if we just come down here, then for this first one, sine x equaling 0, let's just put when sine x equals 0. This is a very basic one. When sine x equals 0, I would know these results just purely because, as I say, it is basic. I can take them from the graph, the sine graph, which you should be familiar with. OK, if we just draw some axes here. And if we look at the graph of y equals sine x, then it's a wave starting from the origin, going up to 1 at 90 degrees or pi upon 2 radians and dropping down to 0 at 180 degrees or pi radians. So it's going to look something like this. OK. And then we need to go back to minus pi. So if you go on the other side, the graph will look like this. That's minus pi upon 2 and that's minus pi. Let's put those values in. That's minus pi there. That's the origin, obviously, and this is pi here. So in this range from minus pi to pi, where do we get sine x equaling 0? Well, it's going to be at minus pi, at the origin, 0, and at pi. We've got to be careful here. Pi is not a solution because we're not allowed to equal it. So from here, we can see that x equals minus pi or 0. OK, so that's that one there. Let's just uh, underline that solution. The other one comes from looking at cosine of x equals 2 thirds. So let's have a look at that one. When cosine of x equals 2 thirds, then 
This is not an obvious answer like this one was, so we're going to need our calculator here. So to get x, we take the inverse cosine then to both sides, and we end up with x equaling the inverse cosine of 2 thirds. And for something like this, I'm going to work off a quadrant diagram. So again, you should be familiar with this. If not, do check out my tutorials on this. So this will be zero radians in this example. We're looking where cosine is a positive value, okay? And that occurs in the first quadrant and in the fourth quadrant. So we draw two lines equally inclined to the horizontal here, marking that those two angles are exactly the same. And we want to start from here, turn to the first blue line. So we go around that way. And that will be a possible solution, x in this case. Now, if I was to carry on round from here all the way round to here, I'd have gone out of range. Okay, it passes pi radians. So what I've got to do is turn in the other direction, okay, in the negative sense. So this is also a possible solution, and it's within our range. So all I've got to do then is make sure the calculator's in radians mode, inverse cosine two thirds, and in radians you should find you get x equals 0.841 and so on, and that would be radians. But that's going to be the red x here, but because these two angles are exactly the same in size, only the green one's going to be turning in the negative sense, we've got plus or minus that angle, okay? So we've got to give this to two decimal places, so therefore x is going to be equal to plus or minus 0.84 radians, okay? And we'll say to two decimal places, 2dp for short, okay?